Hi guys, um, this video is a bit different um, because it's basically a review on the Dose of Colors foundation, Meteor Hue uh, foundation, which I recently got. Um, so basically once in a while I like to just um, switch it up and not go totally green like I usually do. Uh, I just like to try some new things that are not too green but I found you know that this basically this foundation is pretty good because it's vegan cruelty free talc free paraben free oil free and fragrance free which are all things that uh, I'm liking uh, in the makeup especially in foundations to have uh, all of these things uh, free in my foundations so not to have them and so this is basically the box that is, is coming with uh, I'm not putting this back in there because it's very hard to get it out this foundation from the box so I didn't put it back in for that reason I've got color 109 light which is for light uh, skin tones with warm uh, undertones and this this is the how the bottle is looking. It's got the thingy, um, foundation uh, written here. Then it's got your meteor hue all around the bottle. Dose of color and uh, says foundation here. And it's a 30 ml standard size. And it comes with a pump, which is pretty cool. And I like this pump because you can just pump out the tiniest bit it doesn't you know you can really pump out how much you need rather than uh, you know those awful um, pumps that just dispense too much product so this is basically a quick swatch of how it looks like bear in mind I'm a bit tanned at the moment I've got some fake tanner on so it's kind of looking well, if I blend it in, it's kind of going in with my... Uh, maybe I should... Let me see if I can do it here on my arm. So I'm just pump up, pumping out a ti the tiniest bit. Because I really like this foundation. I don't want to um, use too much of it. Hopefully you can see it there. Yeah, so basically... Um, so once I blend it in it just melts into my skin tone right now because I'm a bit tanned not too much but I've got a bit of color from the fake tanner um, so which probably wouldn't work in winter this shade unless I keep putting the self tanner on but we'll see anyway so basically um, this is, um, I would say, when I apply, because uh, here it says lightweight, which is very true, it's a lightweight foundation, uh, and it's a medium to full coverage, yes, so basically when I put it on, uh, the first layer right off the bat is a medium type of coverage, and uh, I, the first time I used this foundation I applied with a brush, but I didn't like it that much with the brush because it, it looks heavy and makeup-y. So instead, I used uh, the sponge, a wet sponge, uh, such as... Uh, so once I've used the Morphe uh, sponge, which is, you know, the red uh, sponge that they do with those um, two um, flat sides, you know, kind of thing. Um, so it looks like a beauty blender, but it's just got two um, sides. Can't, I don't know how you hold it, that shape. I don't have it here to show you, unfortunately. But then, uh, and then I tried today. Um, I've put this on, I've got it on now, this foundation. I've put it on with the Velvet Fuzzy Sponge by Sunday Ivy. So I, I like both uh, sponges, to be honest. They, they don't tend to absorb uh, too much product. So I quite, I like them both. I think with this foundation, sponge uh, is the way to go. Um, I haven't tried it with the fingers, but 
with the brush I didn't like the effect that it gave me so yeah you can build it up to full coverage because you know the first layer uh, is definitely a medium type of coverage a solid medium so I've built uh, this one up um, on my cheeks only so I've got one layer on my forehead uh, and one layer on my chin kind of, well kind of one and a half layer on my chin and then I've got two layers on my cheeks because that's where I need, I need the most coverage so then it says it delivers a blurring effect which reduces the appearance, appearance of fine lines and skin imperfections um, it did uh, um, yeah it did uh, it does have a blur blurring type of effect because uh, it just blurs my pores it doesn't accentuate any of my uh, you know enlarged pores and yeah skin it doesn't really sink into my fine lines uh, I haven't got any forehead lines and I'm recording this like five hours into the found into applying the foundation now um, so yeah it's basically it lasts for 12 months is uh, you know a really good foundation it, it's long-lasting it's because uh, I've worn this another two another couple of times at least if not three well counting today definitely three times and uh, it, it lasts a long time it lasts me a good uh, 12 hours I would say and I haven't I don't even powder the foundation I just uh, slap it on my face <laughs> and then I'm good to go really I just apply you know I don't have it today but I usually apply some bronzer or some blush or some highlight uh, highlighter sometimes the three of them if I feel like I'm in that kind of mood uh, but today I'm like I've only got the foundation on and so far so good <laughs> so I really really recommend this foundation to well all skin types because it's really I think if you're really oily uh, you'll probably want to powder it a bit but not too much and for those with dry skin you don't need to do anything it just sets itself uh, it doesn't really need to to add any powder because uh, it's kind of a soft matte type of finish uh, so it, it's not uh, a flat matte but it's not radiant you know um, to the point that uh, it looks uh, shiny or something like that to me right now uh, you know if I'm looking in my mirror it looks like a satin type of finish hopefully you will agree with me it just uh, probably did uh, settle in a bit in my big uh, smile line this is uh, the biggest uh, line that I've got on my face uh, every foundation just tends to settle in there um, if I touch my face bear in mind I haven't got any I haven't got any powder on my face so it's just the foundation so I get a bit of transfer yeah on my uh, fingertips but it's not too bad you know bear in mind I've pressed really hard on my on my left cheek here uh, but yeah um, other than that I'm really happy with this foundation uh, because in my foundation I'm always looking for a um, kind of satin satin luminous finish but um, a, f a foundation that se set itself without the need to powder it and some you know a foundation that has a medium coverage because I've got uh, quite a few a few things to cover so I don't like sheer to light foundations I just like um, straight up medium coverage foundations and uh, so that's why I got this one because I saw a few reviews uh, here on YouTube and um, I could see that uh, with one layer you could get a really good coverage um, and um, you know I got this foundation also because it's a, 
is you know high pigmented it's buildable um, obviously you need to be careful you know you can't build it too much otherwise it gets cakey and you know it's not a good look in my opinion at least for me but um, it is a really lightweight foundation I just forget that I'm wearing a foundation uh, it's long wearing uh, I know it's not a green foundation but the ingredients are not bad at all to be honest for not being a good uh, you know a green foundation it's not it doesn't have really bad terrible ingredients um, it doesn't have fragrance so you know if uh, fragrance uh, is something that bothers you this is really good because it doesn't smell of anything and yeah what else can I say I mean I don't have the the sponge uh, which is called seamless beauty sponge by dose of color I've heard it's a good sponge but I'm not looking to buy that because I've got other sponges that really work well in my collection so I don't need to buy any more sponges uh, but yeah I might try that whenever I need to get a new sponge so I think uh, that's it for now I'll come back later with a final check-in but I know already this is gonna last me all day long you know 12 hours uh, without uh, getting too crazy it didn't really separate uh, the last time that I tried this foundation uh, it didn't really get too shiny uh, maybe just a tiny bit but I've got combo skin so it's normal with me with any foundation that I'm putting on my face unless you know I'm putting on my face something that is really really matte like clay <laughs> then it wouldn't get shiny but otherwise anything else does get shiny on me so please bear that in mind and that's it so I'll see you guys later bye Hey guys, um, so I'm doing a check-in here now, uh, I hope you can see like better, so, and I've got only, you know, that SPF 30, the Sansibel, and uh, the, um, and the Dose of Color, found it, Dose of Colors foundation, mm, it's kind of going a bit in my, you know, biggest uh, line here all foundations do that no matter what I do so I've applied this with uh, with a sponge with the velvet fuzzy sponge by Sunday Sunday Ivy and um, I quite like the foundation so far I mean matches it's a really good color for me now which is summer and I've put a bit of, a bit of um, my neck is not as pale as you can see because um, I've put on some um, fake uh, self tanner but yeah it's pretty good I haven't put any I didn't powder I didn't put any concealer on uh, it's just you know the the foundation on top of that SPF which is a uh, radiant type of SPF, SPF because of um, when I tried this foundation like the first time around um, I didn't put any anything underneath and it was a bit too matte uh, for my liking um, so I think this is pretty good um, doesn't transfer uh, an awful lot this foundation but if you you know if you touch it a bit too much it does um, transfer slightly so um, you know don't touch yourself too much especially if you don't powder if you don't set the foundation um, like I did uh, I didn't set it because um, I, I think if I set this foundation might not be a good look it probably it would be a bit too drying looking I think and a bit cakey maybe but yes um, I think I only so if I remember well I only did a layer especially on my forehead I don't really build it up on my forehead because I don't any don't have any um, major issues there my issues are the redness and the pigmentation on my cheeks so it's 
that's where I usually build up my foundations and um, so that's what I did basically I just build it up on my cheeks to cover the pigmentation and the redness and I think it's it's pretty good you know I'm just still looking in my mirror you can kind of see my moles uh, a little bit you know I'm not sure if you can see it you know, around here um, can kind of see the moles still, but you know at least all the the other redness and all these um, things get got co covered pretty well, and I don't have any settling in my fine lines. It didn't crease under my eyes. I did put a bit of it, not too much, but like whatever was left over on my sponge, I did go underneath here under my eyes and didn't crease so that's where we are at with the four and a half uh, hours um, now so I'll see you guys later in my last check-in hey guys um, it's Sonia here and it's been about 11 hours now that I've had this foundation on and uh, just wanted to give you a last final update on the Dose of Color Foundation, with Your Hue Foundation, that's how it's called. And just checking in the mirror, so all I can see is it hasn't changed that much, the, the foundation. Uh, since my last check-in, I put some blush on uh, my cheeks and that was it. So I didn't powder this foundation. Um, I can it hasn't changed that much other than maybe it got a bit more shiny on my forehead. Let me just uh, try and see if I can do a finger test. Don't know if you can see some shine like the here is no shine on my finger, maybe a slight shine. Yeah, this no finger didn't touch my face, these two. I touched my face with these two fingers. And I've got a bit of shine, but not not much transfer at all. So I'm pretty happy about that. The only thing is probably just gone, it's kind of rubbed off my chin a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of gone around my chin. I did um, blow my nose at one point, but it didn't come off very much uh, from my nose, so that's good. I only got some, like a funny, maybe I've done something with my nail, because I, I can see like a like a nail mark on here but uh, you know for not powdering this foundation it held up really really well overall and in terms of fine lines it doesn't sink too badly unless you have a really deep line I really like this foundation the coverage is still there other than yeah um, you know come off on my chin that's the only place really that um, has come off. As I said, I did blow my nose in the morning and not much foundation came out. It was still on my nose. Um, so I think I would say, you know, this foundation is a good foundation for everyone, uh, you know, for dry, uh, normal, and even oily skin. I think with oily skin, maybe you would want to um, powder especially your t-zone or the areas where you may get um, more oily yeah that was it i don't know if i mentioned that but i got this from beauty bay um and i paid around 27 how much was it 27.50 i think it is yes um the shade range is really great um, you know the the actual descriptions are true to their actual to the actual color that they are or undertone that they are uh, at least with mine uh, it was a very good uh, 
um, description and I got the right shade for me so um, yeah well done to those of colors for for doing that and um, yeah I think you know it the, there is a gr good gradient in terms of um, shade range because it goes from fair to light to light medium to medium medium tan um, dark and deep I think it is uh, now I don't have it in front of me so sorry I can't check because I, I don't have my phone either I'm in the toilet and I forgot to grab my phone but yes that's basically you know a really good shade range good foundation um, probably my favorite foundation at the moment I must say because I've tried uh, there has been a lot of uh, new foundation releases in the in this summer I haven't tried all of them because um, I'm not interested in in all of them but I've tried the Urban Decay one as well uh, but I didn't like that one that much and I've tried this one and I really like it uh, but because for now I haven't found the green foundation that I really love other than the Pacifica I really like the Pacifica foundation Actually, I need to do a review on that one. I, I'm really overdue to over, you know, to actually review that foundation. Um, I really like that one, but it's not available here in the UK. Um, I had to pay, you know, a lot of. Um, well, I found it on eBay actually, um, but it's not my right shade. Um, it's a bit too light for me. So, but I'll be doing a review um, soon, at some point, pretty soon, I would say. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video and have a good night, everyone.